Hey guys, so basically I'm still recovering from um, last video that I uploaded and by the way, if you guys are wondering, yes, I am doing fine as of right now. It's just gonna be a little work in progress for me to get to 100% as of right now. I figured why not and record a video that I always like, like recording and that is uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brother reaction because I always love to record my reaction to these break down the um, episodes and actually watch the um, episodes and right now we're on episode 9 so we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this one good afternoon ladies and gentlemen it's no face and welcome to full metal alchemist brotherhood part 1 episode 9 last one the building, 5th laboratory, broke down all thanks to the uh, homunculus that broke in and got Ed out of there before he could find out any um, information on what was going on because the theory that they had was that um, the military themselves were using prisoners to make these philosopher stones and it's kind of a messed up concept because they would put the They'll put the prisoners for execution, set them up for executions, and then after the prisoners die, they use the corpse and their dead souls to, uh, in order to create philosopher stones and things like that. Or it's a way of sacrificing their souls in order to create philosopher stones and uh, in the fifth laboratory we saw that there was this uh, big sign on the floor so we already know that a lot of suspect stuff was going down in the first place and we had these um two armor guards that were guarding the place and they were the same as L where um their bodies their souls were attached to these uh metal bodies and I almost forgot um but Barry the chopper actually uh messed with um L's head telling him that basically he was made as a puppet and that his whole life is a fake and things like that so really took jabs at um um, Ed's mindset or Al's mindset and now Al is thinking wait was I fake this whole time was I not a real boy to even begin with and things like that does not my brother not love me type B because we already know that his brother um, Ed loves him very much and that he really wants to do his best in order to get them what they both want which is Al a full body and Ed a metal arm and a metal leg back with that said, let's see what's going on in episode 9. <laughs> Alright, last time on Full Metal Alchemist, this is definitely what happened in last episode. I remember doing that edit, that was very nice and smooth. Done messed with his mind and everything. Created feelings. Oh lord. He's in the hospital. Literally placed TNT in there and just blew the whole thing up like in Minecraft, as I said in the last episode. Try not to move too much, you're gonna hurt your ribs. Well, you're gonna have to lie down now. Oh shoot, what's going on? Yay, yay, yay. I knew there was feeling some type of way after they snuck out and everything. Yeah, he was lucky. Bet I sure need to lean on other people at, at some point. You don't have to do everything on your own. Oh, so that only happened one time. I thought it was gonna happen twice. Everything's cool, guys. He really did have it coming. Like, he's the one that snuck out and everything. Oh, wait. Oh, he has to call up Winry again after what happened. Yeah, you missed one part, Winry, and you gotta place that part. Yeah, something's very wrong. Oh, my... Yep, sounds about right. He was in another fight, basically. Just be honest, that happened. Yep, hello. Have you you chilled out now? You're cool and everything? Let's get it all set up so that way we can get your arm and leg fixed up. And I almost dropped my high flight amplifiers. Oh my lord. Everything is getting to him as of right now. Yeah, you can come to the room, hang out. I think he needs to be like alone for a second, like just try to process every 
thing that is going on. I hate that feeling that something bad is gonna happen every single time they kind of like shown at least dark and depressing scenes like these. All that is getting to his Are head. Sure? That's still in his head and everything. I already know he's gonna go off like a nuclear explosion. It's not gonna be good. He may say some things that are out of pocket. Welcome to Central. A whole lot of people. Armstrong. Did you see those two in the- hold on, hold on, did you see those two in the back? That was easter eggs. Look at those two in the back, basically. You remember how we saw them in the flashbacks and things like that? Well, this woman right here. That's what- who Ed and Al calls a teacher, so we should be seeing them real soon. I get the feeling of, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. It sure was pleasant. They're in the hospital as of right now. Right, it was brutal. Ah, uh, shoot. Please don't get in your feelings. Come on. Don't stress it. It's not your fault. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Let's just do some repairs and things like that. I'm gonna get away with this, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, dang. Nah, he doesn't like me. Oh. Please. Stop this madness. What do you want from me? What do you want? Oh shoot, Alice just keep on peering left, right, up, and down. Bro, the more he thinks about it, the more crazy he becomes. He needs someone to talk to at this point, because he's like peering left, right, up, down. Oh, there he is at the fountain. Yo, tell me why Armstrong was about to take his shirt off again. It's still haunting him. He's about to break the glass right then and there. That sucks that he had that drilled to his head in the first place. Like, bro, you have memories. You was a person once, remember, as a child? It's just that your soul has been attached to this armor body. Okay, there's Mace Hughes. They're assuming that Ed has a girlfriend and Winry is the girlfriend. They just friends. You see, we made it double. Prepare for trouble! Make it double! We had Scar, and then there's the homunculus. Just a whole jumble mess that you don't even need to hear. Just do you, boo. Ed is not gonna try to yeah, fall for her into any mess and things like that. Yeah, oh! Can a low come up in your crib? Oh, she gonna sleep, stay over at their place. Okay. That's gonna be very nice. Look, they, they cook some good food. You're gonna love it. Oh, it's Alicia's birthday. Ain't that amazing? We already know what it was all about. The cake was right there. She blowing the candles off the cake. Like, you should have been able to assume that. Oh, three years old. Oh, that's amazing. Look at, look at that. Hughes family. I almost got caught slipping. Metal Alchemist. Winry Rockbell. Didn't we already see this name? Like, come on now. Things are getting repetitive. Where the new characters at? <laughs> oh yeah, they're having a conversation. Very relatable. A hundred percent relatable right here. I think the reason why we we kind of like keep things from each other is because we're worried about hurting the um other per person in the first place. And this scenario, yo, know, with um Ed with Ed um going out on these missions, trying trying to find a way to get their bodies back and get to the bottom of this, and then. Ow, ow, having the, having these negative thoughts drilled into his head and on the same path as, um, Ed is on. It's definitely a roller co roller coaster, and it's not a pretty roller coaster. Like, they just want to be able to do it all themselves, all themselves, and not involve anyone, otherwise someone may get hurt. Like, I can understand. But then there comes a point where it's like, you gotta start evolving people in your life that are willing to help you, and that are willing to get yourself out whatever dark path that you're on, and steer you in the right direction, because those are the types of people that want to help. Other woman wants to help, Armstrong wants to help, like all these characters that are involved in this journey, they just want to do their best to help and assist whether their life is on the line or not. They still want to help in any way, shape, or form. That's how I am. When the time is right, you'll definitely be there for them. Now they're fighting. Mace Hughes is like, I'm not about to have this. <laughs> Men with actions. Actions speak too loudly, you know what I'm saying? They're very attached. Uh-huh, yeah. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> Got a place to stay now. Can a low come up in your crib? Fact is, get all the help you need. Ah, uh, milk. He needs some milk. Okay, now things are hitting the fan. Okay, now I gotta hear this guy out. Okay, now you're just making a out of yourself. Need to pump the brakes now, buddy. You're going way too far. They haven't been lying. He's shaking and everything. Yeah, I think we need space from each other after that conversation. Now you need to go and apologize to him now. Yay! Dang, you started making her cry again. I have no idea. Okay, now we're getting the backstory. Bruh, it's not your- Y'all were just kids, that's the thing. Y'all are the only two that you have left of each other. Alright, now they're about to duke it out. Yep, camouflage. Look at that, going back down memory lane. Uh, life is a roller coaster. Know what I mean? No, it's not a lie. Gotta do our best to be better and to do better. Look at that, they got it together. They're like, okay, let's do this. Let's continue this journey together. Oh, what's this? Oh, a memory? Scar's memory? Oh, so this is Ishfall. Bad memory. Kimberly. Oh, wow. So he. Yeah. He, I know he has something to do with it. And that's what's haunting him. Okay, so he survived. So there's the other Ishfallans. Okay. Uh, Ishvala. Uh, they say Ishfall in short. Look at that. Grin on his face and everything. Yeah, very hurt bad. Yeah, those two attacked you. Oh, it's still there. So your family gave it to you. Alright, so that's about it for Full Metal Alchemist episode episode 9. Wow, so this is really getting interesting. Stings. Ed and Al had like a short falling out between each other. I knew that Al was basically gonna go off. Once you have like all these negative thoughts, it gets to a point where you can't just keep them in. Sometimes you just gotta like let it out even though it may like hurt her other source so but it's always a good thing to like be expressive because you just basically can't keep them in and at some point you have to let them out which is exactly what Al did it hurt for a little bit because he actually let let um Barry's words get to him Ed loves his brother and Ed wants to do everything that he can it really gets to points where um you start boggling up all this negative energy energy inside you and you basically just have to find a way in order to get it off in order to diminish it and internalize it into something into something good wow what a roller coaster this episode was i really do hope that the day comes that they get their bodies they get their bodies back and basically they get to a point in their lives where they can live peacefully and also there are people around and also interesting enough we're finding out that there are more is fallen because i thought the whole uh is fallen race was um exterminated but now it's coming up that there are more is fallen that have survived the is fallen civil war um, before i end this i want to end this off on a good note and i want to end this off with a good message i know that life can be a roller coaster up and down a jumbled mess or whatever it is but no matter but from now on from this point on no matter how much of a mess it is there's always a positive within the messes within the messes that we make and in life and we just gotta find a way to turn our bad situations into good and positive situations whatever it may be no matter how bad the situation is and no matter how many bad things happen here and there you just gotta keep moving forward i'm going to just keep work working twice as hard as possible and make the content that i truly enjoy because as long as i enjoy it then you guys will definitely enjoy the content that i create create and if you so choose join me on this journey then hey that's also great as well and i guess i'll see you guys on the next episode if you guys enjoyed this video blast that like button on your way out also why not subscribe to join me on this journey and i will see you guys on the next episode of no face